Sohalom and Uzek are divine spirits of Akka who helped Apsaras in scribing the most mysterious book of the Qr Beth. Their book is the longest and most mysterious book of the entire Qr Beth. It was written the second time Apsaras went to the mountains, and Aradia spoke to him. Sura 1. There are many pathways through life for each person. Aradia created ten pathways for each of its creatures. Warning signs and dreams are their spirit guides. Your life is planned by ten roads. Only one is the right way. If that road is found and followed every positive thing happening, and a long life of goodness is for that soul. Sura 2. Aradia has shown a way to build the right shelter, to make the right garments, the right food, the right medicine, and the right way to live. If one lives by these things, your dwelling place will last forever. The elements shall not prevail against it, and the earth will call it brother. Your garments shall strengthen you and shall outwear you. The food shall make you heal yourself, and you shall not know illness. The medicine shall prevent you from becoming ill, and disease shall become a stranger. The right way to live shall put you upon the right road, and no sorrow shall stand in the way. Zura 3. There shall be those that shall say the sons and daughters of God are the children of Hod, but woe unto them that speak ill of the faithful servants and spit upon their face, for Aradia shall turn from them, and their pleas shall go unanswered, for they shall be like lost sheep crying in the wilderness. Sura 4. Those that follow after the Creator and Aradia's teachings shall be lifted out of the pits of despair, and shall sit upon the throne. But they that follow after devils and teachings of the lost shall also be lost. Despair not in the very face of greater despair and hopelessness, for the forces of Ake are your army and kinsmen. But beware of those that shall provoke you to go astray, that you shall become lost, and not know which way to go. Surah 5. There are things of the earth and things of the sky that even the very learned knows not of, and they shall say the mystery they do not know is not so. But even the very masters know only one billion eth of Aradia's total knowledge. The one who follows the teachings of false gods and false knowledge shall dine with swine and dwell in the house of fools and stagger upon the road of life. Surah 6. The one whom says I believe not whatsoever Aradia speaks and goes another way shall not see the kingdom of the Creator or sup with the saints. Surah 7. Humans were created to live for a thousand years, but he that provokes his body and ravage his soul shall not live even on tenth of that time. Surah 8. Aradia has given to each creature a divine guide throughout their lifetime, and he that wishes still another may find one. And from out of Acre came these guides, and many they have come, and by their names which are endless. Surah 9. To each creature he gave a different ego, and each creature shall decide how his ego shall be. But he that blows up his ego and walk in the ungodly way, and set negative power over others, shall lose his ego, and shall become maddened. But he that become graceful with his ego, and turn away from the power maddened ones, shall exalt in himself, and in the glory of God. Surah 10. In the beginning was the thought, and that thought created life, and all that was created contained the thought. For all that there is has within it the thought, and the thought knew God came into existence, for God was created by the thought, and all manifestation came from one thought. Surah 11. There is only one thought, the thought of creation, and all creation is life, all creation is intelligence, for all creation is the thought, the thought is the creator, for all is the creator. Surah 12. And the creator created Zeris, and upon Zeris the creator created man, and from Zeris all of mankind went unto all the heavens and settled the planets, and the animals and the creatures of the air and the seas and of the ground were hence created after man, that they might become helpmates of mankind. Surah 13, from out of Zeris came Zononus, thus came Domaic, thus came Zuas, thus came Aden, thus came Earth. From Earth came Jema, thus came Helios, thus came Sumaria. From the billions of Ega Erg, so did all mankind settle the heavens, from one galaxy to another. Thus did man think like the Creator that man travelled faster than thought and reached the far side of the cosmos. Thus in one thousand years did man reach the far side of each galaxy. For thus man walks as the Creator walked. Thus did man walk with God in the fullness of God, knowing then the innermost thoughts of God. Thus did they travel far across the cosmos by thought power alone, for they had discovered that the thought power of the Creator was the force that moved all, and that no other force was greater. Thus they had come to know that they could form machines by thought power, and move the machines by thought power. Thus they could move faster than the thought power across the cosmos, 
For in that time of one trillion erga erts in time did man think as the creator, but thus even the masters think not this way now, even though they enter straight away unto Akka. Surah 14 And in those times a new way of building cities which man cannot imagine in this time were built that could withstand all the elements and conquer all time, thus lasting one million earth years without showing where. Surah 15 Thus in that time there was but one race of man, its skin was smooth as silk, and hair upon its body was not to be found, and its eyes were golden, its skin as white as new fallen snow, and it spoke by thought power, thus no sound uttered from its lips. Thus it created from machines and animals all other races of man, and thus first it created the darker races first, which were the opposite of it. Thus from them came the pink-skinned man, Surah 16, Thus from these the Zerites was created the races of man, and thus all languages were from the animals and placed in the throats of the new mankind. And thus perfection was reached by the Zerites unto the new races of man, but by the animals was language created and thus first spoken by man. And Creator was pleased that man had mastered the art of creation, and thus mankind had become creators. Surah 17 the time Yohud had first laid sight upon the earth was 100,000 years before this time. Yohud thus remained in his sphere for 95 years before sending Abam upon the face of the earth. Abam and Ova spent 22 years at the Garden of Aden in the north of Yuli. Yohud's people dwelled under the ground thus 900 years. Yohud left his people after only five years underground. Surah 18. When the people first went under the ground, there were but 3,000 and when they came up upon the earth again, there were twenty-six million. Cities were built first in the land of Yuli, the largest by the sea to the east, the city of Yohod, and having ten thousand souls. Lemuria became the largest nation upon the earth within two hundred years after it became settled. Surah 19, seventy-two thousand years of this time, the earth was thus visited by others from Jama, three sun systems away, and the people of Jama thus came in a different kind of ship, with wings like birds, and that roared like lions. Their coming to the earth took many lifetimes. The people of Jama were of fair skin, golden hair, and eyes the color of a blue sky. The Jamaites settled in many parts of the earth and left their marks everywhere. They were great artsmen and craftsmen, and built many fine cities and great works of art upon the ground, which could only be seen from a great distance in the sky. After the Jamaites had stayed upon the earth for many years, they left thousands of people behind and journeyed on to other sun systems. For a twenty, Aden was settled by Domaic, Domaic, three million years back from this time. Thepis, king of Zost on Domaic, discovered Aden during explorations of the galaxy and settled there. From the race of the Zosts sprang the Amurians. The Amurians went forth from Aden to Sumaria and upon the land of Sript. In Sript, the Amurians intermarried and thus sprung the Lemurians. The Lemurians thus returned to Aden to the nation of Quan, and settled for thousands years. The Kurs fought against the Amurians and the Lemurians, and thus Aden was destroyed by fire. Yohod was the son of Nupt, king of Azza, and Ufa, a woman of great merit. Yohod was an engineer and high priest of the Kiris religion, and a man of great wealth. Yohod had built the great sphere, the bath, which meant escape, with his own wealth. Yohod chose 3,000 different people, all with valuable skills, to live in the great sphere with him for 3,000 years. The population was never to be above 3,000. Yohod was well versed in numbers and did everything by threes, thus 3,000 people came with him in the great ship, the earth, which was 3,000 feet across, to spend 3,000 years. After only 55 years, they discovered a new planet. Life upon it was teeming with molten mountains and deadly vapors, for ninety-five years thus did Yohod circle this new planet, waiting for the right time to descend upon its surface. Yohod named the new planet Earth after his ship. Five years after Yohod had left Aden, the planet dissolved into a fiery vapor, sending its particles into all the heavens and even upon the face of the Earth and its moon. The coffers of Aden escaped also in a smaller sphere to the outer heavens to the planet of Luz, four sun systems away. Some coffersites went with Yohod, whereas Yohod married Pizdid, a Kofasite woman. Surah 21. Yohod's father was Nupt, king of Adzia, whose father was Aris, whose father was Yotu. Yohod's mother was Uf, whose father was Zoz, whose father was Argo, whose father was Zimfuis, 
whose father was Ofiz, conqueror of Urzu and first king of Asia. Yohud's wife, the Kofasti, was the daughter of Hortz, chieftain of the Gizites. Her mother was Smiped, daughter of Korb, founder of Zip, last capital of Kofas. Surah 22, the first man of Zeris was Yolopo, whom begat Zuzuig, whom begat Klix, whom begat Flut, whom begat Krongaloop, whom begat Giza, whom begat Dui, whom begat Turbia, whom begat Flos, whom begat Musa, whom begat Girius, whom begat Zuos, whom begat Kupi, whom begat Zenins, whom begat Mars, whom begat Oyamas, whom begat Duxema, whom begat Rus, whom begat Myas, whom begat Rexis, whom begat Hori, whom begat Hots, whom begat Zonox, whom begat Buddha, whom begat Lota, whom begat Don, whom discovered Zanonus. Surah 23. The first person born on Zonobus was Jiv, daughter of Viu, Heve's firstborn son, who was Vig, and Vig begat Joker, whom begat Pericopis, whom begat Saluas, whom begat Go, whom begat Jeek, whom begat Kus, whom begat Ifit, whom begat Purism, whom begat Semop, whom begat Jimalog, whom begat Hupis, whom begat Amish, whom begat Tarpis, whom begat Poto, whom begat Amais, whom built the city of Amay, and from the city of Amay went forth Gore, who settled on the planet of Domek. Surah 24, and the son of Yohod upon the earth was Simps, whom begat Anthos, whom begat Arak, whom begat Fuiz, whom begat Dan, whom begat Chin, whom begat Yongalog, whom begat Yuli, whom begat Maeltek, whom begat Zuni, who started the tribe of Zuni. Surah 25, and Yohod had a daughter whom begat a son, whose name was Izuk, whom begat Sus, whom begat Ompia, whom begat Hercules, whom begat Zeus, whom begat Oris, whom begat Adonis, whom begat Delphia, whom begat Mars, whom begat Mercury, whom begat Neptune, whom begat Saturn, whom begat Uranus, whom begat Pluto, whom begat Luna, whom begat Yamas, whom begat Orpheus, whom begat Janus, whom begat Augustus, whom begat Anthony, whom begat Ectium, who founded Upper Lemuria. Surah 26, and Yohod had another son whose name was Enus, whom begat Horik, whom begat Dunamog, whom begat Furs, whom begat Bogo, whom begat Aramab, whom begat Adamak, whom begat Amishlia, whom begat Isle, whom begat Yamamak, whom begat Cush, whom founded the land of Cush. Surah 27. Yohod went with his wife to Adenola and settled there. Adenola grew strong and the people of the planet Uxin invaded Adenola. A great war was fought and the planet became too hot for inhabitants. So the people of Adenola left the planet and lived amongst the stars to guard against warmongers that should try to conquer the earth. Thus the Adonites are the guardians of the earth. Surah 28. When Yohod came upon the earth, he brought also the Gomps, a hairy, tall, ape-type creature, and sent them upon the earth to live in the mountains of the earth, so their numbers would not perish. The Gomps became hostile toward the humans of the earth and lived secretly in the mountains of the earth, never venturing close to man. Surah 29. The Gomps bred amongst the apes and started other species of their kind. Men of lowly ways bred amongst the Gomp, and they became half beast and half men and whole new races began. Surah 30. The galaxies each have their name, their numbers endless, and only Aradia knows them. In the beginning, Aradia created the galaxies, and Earth in the galaxy of Thifs was thus created 10 billion Erga Earth's years, thus later of the galaxy of Thypis. In the galaxy of Thypis, there was the planet of Yukth, ten times the size of Earth. Upon Yukth, there was the great nation of Amna, fueled by the Druds. The Druds were a beastly type of man, half human, half beast, the heads of birds and dogs, the lower parts of their bodies as humans. The Druds fought amongst themselves for power and destroyed their plant, thus fleeing away in great starships to the outermost galaxies beyond their own. After many times, the Drud ships glided into the Thif's galaxy upon the lee side of Earth. The Drud ships circled the Earth many times and set foot upon the Earth near the land of Egypt. Thus the Druds, when approaching the Egyptians, were proclaimed gods, and thus the Druds showed the Egyptians how to plant crops, how to build cities and tombs that would stand the test of time, whereas time stood still. Thus the Druds showed the Egyptians the art of pyramid building. The Druds were painted upon the walls of the Egyptian palaces and their tombs, after the Druds had left a journey even further across the galaxy of Thifs. Surah 31, the Palmus of Furpus in the Seuss galaxy, three galaxies thus of Earth, fled thus their home, millions of Erga Earth's years ago, 
thus coming into the Thif's galaxy. Hence within years yet to come, the Pomus shall settle amongst the people of Earth, and great changes will thus come upon the Earth. When the Pomus come upon the Earth, weapons that can destroy whole cities and change the weather of the whole of Earth shall take place. The Pomus shall not announce themselves, but shall secretly settle amongst the people of the Earth. When thus the day cometh that the people of the Earth shall forget the Creator and spit upon the Earth and Aradia's creation, shall war in great numbers upon themselves, shall foul the Earth, the air, and an endless chain of noise shall settle in every ear and the maddening negative forces shall not relent even from the very elite of God, and the whole of earth shall quake and quiver upon the onslaught of a terrible fire. So shall the Pomus make known themselves, and shall lead the righteous out of damnation set forth upon the earth. Surah 32, and the time shall come when the forces of evil and the forces of good shall fight in an unseen battle, and wreak havoc upon the very earth. The elements of water, wind and fire shall conquer even the very just. But those that stand fast against this great unseen battle shall be the victor with the glory of God shining upon their heads. And the victors shall walk forth from amongst the ashes and build anew upon the damned, and shall shout, Glory to God in the highest I have conquered. I am victorious, I am free in the sight of my Creator. Surah 33 The righteous of God shall flee away from the unseen enemy, but shall not know where to flee, for they shall have nowhere to hide. The home of the righteous shall be slain with wind, water, and fire, and their very kinsmen shall be slain, and their minds tormented as in the despair of Hod, and they shall cry out in vain, and the forces of evil shall win over upon them, and shall call them children of Hod. And many shall turn away from the righteous path, and shall cling upon the evil path that their pain ends. But alas, their pain shall be in Hod, and Creator shall turn from them, and all that they set upon to do shall end in fruitlessness, and their lot shall go down in damnation. Surah 34, for the time shall come that when this battle begins, the days of earth shall be numbered. There will be wars where wars were never fought, religions of false prophets, mountains shall spew forth fire, the very earth shall move and destroy whole nations, the seasons shall be no more, the winds shall go mad, the rain shall not know when to stop or when to start, great famines and mysterious disease shall wipe out whole nations of mankind, Beware, lest you be tempted by the forces of evil, that they drag you down in their pits and smother you. Surah 35, for in those times whole nations of religions calling themselves followers, after the Son of God shall lead the foolish into destruction, and they shall proclaim they do it for the glory of God. But woe to the foolish who fall in behind these evil forces, for shall the destruction of earth go down with them, and they shall struggle in hod for never-ending eons. But he that hold fast in the face of this great enemy of mankind shall not suffer the pangs of Hod. For this time shall be known as Hell, for Hell shall be upon the earth, and Hod shall be the torment of the flesh. Aradia thus can deliver the righteous from the depths of Hell, but can in no way deliver the spirit from Hod.